viewers welcome to my channel IIT JLM PRs and AP Physics with Ambarish and today I have brought a very interesting problem uh, from Harvard uh, problem of the week uh, 9 it's a, a problem regarding finding an infinite fractal uh, triangles moment of inertia uh, this uh, problem is also featured in uh, our tests many times similar problems have featured so that and students do face some difficulty in this so that's why I decided to choose this problem and uh, let me straight away get into the problem I'm sure you are going to enjoy doing this one okay so here's the problem Harvard problem of the week 9 fractal moment of inertia of a triangle okay so take an equilateral triangle of side L and remove the middle triangle so we take an equilateral triangle and we have removed the middle part okay and then remove the middle triangle from each of the remaining three triangles so if you remove this then you have three remaining triangles this triangle this triangle and this triangle and now what you are going to do you are again going to remove the middle triangle okay here you have removed the middle triangle again you are having three triangles so again you remove the middle triangle and so on this process goes on so this is not the complete uh, picture uh, this process is going on indefinitely right so then remove the middle triangle from each of the remaining three as shown and so on forever okay this goes on forever let the final object have a mass m find the moment of inertia of this object around an axis through its center and perpendicular to its plane so whatever is the remaining object after we continue this process indefinitely we have to find the moment of inertia about this axis that is going into the page okay so if you want you can give it a try i will get into my analysis uh, straight away so let's see how to do this one okay <clears throat> So consider the circled uh, portion of this lamina. Okay, I'm just cons uh, focusing on this part. So if you see, uh, we, uh, if uh, we can say a few things about this part of the lamina. See, its mass must be m by three y because three such parts they make the full uh, uh, thing. So its mass must be m by three, and of course its size is l by side is l by two because the entire side is l. So it has got half the side. So its side is l by two. And therefore, if the moment of inertia of the original triangle, the entire geometry about this axis is i, the moment of inertia of this smaller circle triangle about its own center should be equal to what? See, moment of inertia I can find out. See, moment of inertia is mass times L square, right? So, mass has become one third and the edge has become uh, half. So, uh, so, by scaling argument, we can say that we replace mass by half and the linear dimension by a factor of uh, rather mass by a factor of 1 by 3 and linear dimension by a factor of 1 by 2. So what's the moment of inertia if the original moment of inertia of the entire thing is i then moment of inertia of this part about c must be i into 1 by 3 for the mass factor and 1 by 2 square for the uh, linear dimension factor. So I hope this is clear. So i dash of the circle portion about c is this because mass is one third and side is half and i is proportional to mass times length square right. So, if you just simplify this, so 3 into 1 by 2 square, that is 1 by 4, so 1 by 4 into 1 by 3 becomes 1 by 12. So, moment of inertia of the smaller circle triangle about C is uh, uh, I by 12, if the original moment of inertia is I. But then, uh, I want to find out the moment of inertia of the circle triangle about the center of the original geometry. So, then you need to find use the parallaxis theorem. So, you need to find out this D. So, how do you find out this D? C. Uh, if you consider this triangle from tip to this point, the distance is uh, uh, two third of the median, right? And similarly for this uh, white triangle, distance from the tip to this part is uh, two third of the median, right? So that means what C to O distance should again be equal to two third of the median. Why? Because this median plus this median whole becomes, uh, I mean, this is uh, one third of the whole length. This is one third of the whole length. So this also should be one third of the whole length. And this is L by two. So this becomes L by two cos 30 degree, right? And two third of that is uh, just two by three into L by two cos thirty degree. That is L by two root three, right? So, by parallaxis theorem, moment of inertia of the smaller triangle about O becomes what? I dash becomes I dash C. That is I by twelve plus m by three d square. So this is just parallaxis theorem. See, mass is m by three and distance is d and d is L by two root three. So that's what I've written right uh, here. So if you simplify this, it becomes i by 12 plus ml square by 36, right? And now three of these, when you add them together, it should become the original moment of inertia. So that's readily gives me an equation in moment of inertia. So I can say that i about o should be equal to three times i prime about o, right? 
three triangles. So that is I is equal to three times. Now this is I by 12 plus ML square by 36, right? And this equation we can very easily solve for I. And if you solve this for I, you get I is equal to ML square by nine. Okay, so that's our final answer. So this is the moment of inertia and you can do a similar kind of uh, problem for uh, uh, a fractal square or maybe a fractal line or a fractal cube. And you can apply the same idea to different different geometries. Okay, so that was my analysis for this problem. I hope you enjoyed the analysis. And if you did enjoy the analysis, please uh, do give it a thumbs up. Uh, and please share this video as much as possible with your friends through WhatsApp, Telegram, Discord, or whatever medium you use for networking with your fellow students who are preparing for ITJ or Olympiads. And uh, uh, most importantly, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel because that is what keeps me motivated to bring out a new video every day. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you.